Hello everyone, this is Mark. How are you today? I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. A ravishing tall young blonde South African woman, Charlize Theron. A hideous massive middle-aged German monster, Frankenstein. In this lesson we're going to talk about adjectives, so stay tuned. Adjectives. adjectives are words that give more details or identify nouns or pronouns. They can be used to modify them, to modify the nouns or pronouns, or can act as complements to a linking verb. What is a linking verb? A linking verb uh, can be be, feel, become, etc. You can watch a lesson on linking words if you click here. Now, I listed, as you can see, seven tips on, uh, on adjectives. The first one, adjectives do not change form, so they stay the same. We, I mean, a nice girl is the same as to say a nice uh, man, or if you want to say the plural, nice girls, nice men obviously without the article E, because we're talking about plurals. So, the adjective doesn't change, stays the same. Nice girls, nice men, doesn't change. So, number two, placed in front of nouns, obviously, so a white house. In this case, we have white, which is a color, and is an adjective, and describes house, which is a noun. So, they are placed before the nouns. The third tip, if the main purpose of the statement is to give the information given by an adjective, then they are placed after a linking verb. For example, he feels... How does he feel? He feels exhausted. Exhausted is the adjective. It's actually preceded by the verb to feel, which is, is in a linking verb. Another example, she seems tired. Seems is the linking verb, and in this case we have tired as the adjective. So, the other tip that I have is adjectives ed or ing adjectives also called, describe the effect that something has on your feelings or ideas, or to describe the way somebody is affected by something. I have a lesson on this. You may click here to watch that lesson. So, an example, an exciting trip, or a bored student. I'm not going to spend much time on this because I have a lesson, but um, if you want to watch it, you may do so. Now, the fifth tip, compound adjectives. And I also have a lesson on this. You may click here to watch that lesson. Compound adjectives are two or more words put together using a hyphen. A hyphen is just a dash. So, brown-eyed girl, brown-eyed, is a compound adjective. Tall, dark man, a tall, dark, is a compound adjective. The sixth one is comparative and superlative adjectives. There is a lesson on that. So, you can click here if you want to watch that lesson. They are used to compare two or more nouns. Shorter than me, for example. So, the most important part of this lesson would be the order of adjectives. And here I listed a table showing all the types of adjectives that we find before a noun. The first would be a determiner. So, a determiner could be a, the, and every, this, his, etc. The observation in this case is ravishing because we are describing a beautiful actress, so she's ravishing. Observation, what I think of her. Then we have size, and then uh, I listed tall, she's a tall woman. Shape, shape, I didn't write anything, but it could be anything from hello, narrow, deep, flat, uh, shallow, etc. 
then age, in this case I uh, wrote young, then color blonde, blonde could be also written with an E at the end, but I chose not to write it, then origin, where she's from, and she's South, a South African woman, material, I didn't list anything uh, for material, but material could be anything from wood, um, silver, metal, qualifier and purpose, I didn't list anything, but a qualifier would be anything from very, uh, enough, indeed, um, pretty, and then the noun, and in this case, woman. Then for this second example, the determiner is A, observation is hideous, size, massive, age, shape, I didn't write obviously, shape, middle-aged, color nothing, origin German, and then the noun, monster. Now the last example that I'm going to give you lists all the adjectives that we can write before a noun. So, the determiner, several, observation, expensive, size, little, shape, round, age, antique, color, brown, origin, Roman, material, bronze, qualifier, collectible, and then the noun, coins. As you can see, I left uh, a space for you to write your own example. So this would be written under this video. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, we looked at adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe or identify the pronoun or a noun. I listed six tips for you to follow, but most importantly, I told you about the order of adjectives. I recommend you watch the lesson if you haven't understood. So that's it for today. If you have any comments, requests, or if you want to post your own example, you may do so under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Next week, you'll get a new lesson. So have a great day and I see you next week. Thank you. Bye bye.